right, well, we've got one of our favorite guests come on. I hope it's not the last time we see him because that would be a nightmare. I'm talking about Southwest CEO Gary Kelly. He's stepping down from his role next year after more than 17 years of brilliant stewardship at the helm. He's going to become executive chairman, which means he's still going to be around at least until 2026. Here with us now to discuss the announcement, Southwest chairman and outgoing CEO Gary Kelly. Gary, I am so thrilled that you came on Squawk on the Street. It's great to see you. Well, it's great to be back with you, Jim, and uh, this will not be the last time that we talk, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing strong this year. All right, great. Look, I'm going to approach this from, uh, hey, from 30,000 feet where you're from. Uh, you are a great inspiration to many people, and you've had to deal with some incredibly difficult situations, and I think you've always addressed them head on and come out on top. What does Gary Kelly do, and how do you do it? How do you come on after a terrible accident? How do you come on uh, after a huge breakdown because of, of COVID and still be straight and tough? I want to know how Gary Kelly, how you work, because I think that you are the guy I want to be. <laughs> well, you're, you're much too kind. Uh, hey, you know, we, we just celebrated 50 years at Southwest Airlines last week, and I think everybody, uh, when they are young and uh, aspiring, should hope to get with a, a championship team. And I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I, you know, I never had the opportunity uh, to play uh, on a championship team until I got to Southwest Airlines. And I think that that's what inspires me and uh, that's what inspires our people. It's a great company. We have a great cause. Um, we do good things. We've never had a layoff in our history, so we've taken great care of our people. And we just believe that we'll find a way to fight our way through these challenges. And we have a lot of experience with that, and I think it just builds confidence. But um, I think I feel that way, but I think more importantly, that's the way our people feel. And uh, we, we all know that we're in it together, you know. So I think as long as you feel like you're part of a team and uh, you can tr people that you trust and believe in and that believe in you, you find a way, and uh, Southwest always has. Okay, given the fact that you have found a way and you're a great leader, is this Southwest time? I see you expanding to a lot of markets that I had not th thought of you to go to. Can't you become the international carrier, if not the national carrier, uh, that I always felt that Southwest would become? Well, I think every company needs to aspire to grow. Um, no, no company should, should be satisfied that they're done. Uh, and become stagnant. You're either growing or you're declining. There's really no in between. So yes, we need to continue to strive to grow. And that's the exciting part about completing 50 years. We know our history. It's very successful. It's very rich. We have this very strong foundation to continue to build upon. And uh, the, in, nobody knows what the future holds exactly. So we've got plenty of strengths to draw upon. And uh, we'll want to continue to grow our network. Does that mean international? Maybe. I think the neat thing right now, Jim, is that with the Boeing 737, just looking at North and South America, we have all kinds of growth opportunities. Uh, we, we don't feel like we have enough airplanes uh, for 2022 and 2023. And that's just doing what you know us uh, to be famous for. So uh, beyond the next five to 10 years, who knows? And that'll be up to Bob uh, and his leadership team to, to decide. But um, the thing that I like is that, you know, the strengths that we had in 1971 are still there. We still have low cost competitively. We still offer low fares. We still offer great service. We still have a strong balance sheet. Um, we, we still have a great business model better than anybody else. And all of those things will um, help propel us into the future. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.